humans have discovered and taught us. But the universe is way too big for us to, to now assume that what we've been taught is everything. It's a very, it's, 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 it's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. I accept. We're ignorant in very, I accept. Lloyd, I accept. We're ignorant of many things in this universe. But in your approach, it is very well possible, even the probability may be less, that you could be a potato. Way possible, but we can't even define what a potato is. And it could also be possible. It could also be possible that you don't exist. Yeah, you cannot. Definitely be possible. Right. We don't know what is possible unless we know absolutely everything based on the universe, which we don't. Yeah, we don't even know one percent. So we can't go around saying, oh, because. Because we're humans, we know everything. There could be aliens right you know, now, you know. but we. You could be an alien too, right? I, well, I, I think I would know. <laughs> uh, how would you know? Because you don't know everything. Because aliens. You could be programmed. You could be programmed. An alien that is programmed to think he's like a human. There's a possibility of that, but then there's no way for you to even prove that. No, no. There's no way for you to. There's no way for you to disprove that, right? Yeah, and for you to. So that means there's a possibility you could be a programmed alien. Show us where. Definitely a possibility. Yeah. That means that means for you, you could be anything. Everything could be anything. There's nothing that you can have a a concrete understanding of reality. In fact, all of this could be an illusion. Yes, but you could be having a discussion in your dream right no, now. Yes, but to get through life, you need to be living. Because you live amongst humans, so you need to get, you need to use your But you may not be living. You could be. So, if, so using human logic, if you said I was a potato. No, logic, logic. Why would you, why would you even use human logic? Because if you're an alien, why are you restricting yourself to human logic? That's but already a problem. That's only based on me saying that I'm an alien. I've never said I was. But how do you know you're not? I don't. Exactly. I'm only going to make an assumption. That's why I'm saying. No, why are you making an assumption that you're not an alien? Well, based on what we know as humans, we have to make no, assumptions. No, no, no. Based on what you think you know. Based, based on, on what, what we think we know. know. Right. Based on what we've been All of these humans, it could be just an illusion. Because you could be a brain in a jar having this illusion. And you think the people have decided in terms of the, the definitions of what is alien, what is a potato, what is a man, and so well, on. You said but decided. It, that means if you're able to decide, that means you know more. No, no, and I'm saying know, which is the case. you could. So you can't it, it, it is all possible that you are actually a brain on a jar somewhere in a distant galaxy, and you're having this illusion. Based on your imagination. No, no. But my imagination might be different. But is it possible? We could both be wrong or both be right. But is it possible? It could be right. It's possible. All things yeah. are possible. So that means, based on the universe. that means your particular radical skepticism is a belief system that you know that you don't agree with. It can't be a belief system if I'm being skeptic. Because you need no, no, to. No, 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 no. You need to be. In Do you really believe you're an alien? Be Do you believe you're an alien? I, I, I don't know. You can't. But do you I believe you're an alien? I, I assume that I'm not, based on human logic. Yeah, so you have a belief which is then gives you this assumption that you're not an alien. So you've taken a set of beliefs. You've taken some sort of beliefs, which is true to you based on your assumptions. Who said belief has to be all based on evidence? But if you some people can believe. You can believe that you're the king of England without any evidence. No, but. Every king that knows is a king has evidence no, you to can, believe they're a king. You can believe without any evidence. King, no evidence. You can be deluded, for example, to believe. So you don't need an evidence for it. Put in a mental hole. But that's based on human logic. No, no, no. <laughs> the whole the discussion we're having is you could have this position that you have, but we see that in reality, look, you're wearing glasses and you know that these are not turtles in your eyes. How do I know that? No, you don't know. It could be turtles. When you went to the shop and bought this, you you, 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 you might be thinking, are these turtles or are these sunglasses which are very expensive but, but and very give me what, the shades? It depends what lens you're using. Because if you're using a human lens, then how would totally the one, would the thing that you the thing that you have on your hand, which we call a watch, it could be a dragon, right? Yeah. But we call it a watch, so it doesn't no, no. matter if it's a but dragon. Do you, but do you, but do you consider? Do you have some kind of acceptability belief system or something which is true to you that this is a watch and not a dragon? I have to get by life because I'm human too and I want to be able to get through life being a human. So I have to right. say to myself, this is a watch. Because even, though, it it's a watch. even though it may not be a watch. So you have, Lloyd, we're getting somewhere. So we're talking about definitions of things. And no, concepts, of conceptual things. understanding of things, not just definitions. definitions. But we're defining, like, you're saying that that could be a dragon, but we have an understanding 
based our description of what a dragon is, Correct. what a turtle is, what a, yeah. what a watch is, and by the descriptions we collective somewhat understand. And by the way, my definition of what a watch is might be different than yours. My watch, my what, 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 what is that to you? So, but, but, check this out. So, like, one person might assume a watch always has no, no. two. In your definition, when I point this to you, um, if you haven't seen this ever before in your life, but if I told you it gives you time, it's a timekeeper, and it has a few other functions there because it's a smart watch. It could be iWatch for Apple, maybe Apple, but something else, right? Then eventually you're building up a conceptual understanding of what that thing is. I am more interested in linguistic definition in any one language, but conceptually what this is all about. You can call that a dragon, and yet what you mean by a dragon is a watch. But that's what I'm referring to. When I say a dragon, I mean... But you're using human logic again. So am I going to use... Because you said time, assuming that his definition of time is the same So you're asking me to use a monkey logic when I'm not a monkey. I can only use human logic because I'm human. And that's exactly why are you, what I said. Why, 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 said because I wouldn't get my life, I don't want to live on a tree. Precisely. A nice so, house. Lloyd, so we've come to the understanding that to get on in your life, you have set up some principles yes. that you will accept them and you live your life accordingly. So, human. for example, you would not go up the tallest building up there and then jump thinking that it's actually not empty space there. Based on human limitations and logic. Exactly, but you would not jump because yeah, you know that when you well, if I was a bird, you know, know that I'm you are not a bird or a fly, dragon right someone tells me. exactly so in your everyday living you have set up certain limitations of no, what I is acceptable to you for me. and, I, and, and you accept it in order to survive fine to follow the steps as a human being good human logic so take that now education. now extend that is it possible that nothing existed at one point and then something came from it? All things are possible. And the reason why I say that is based on human logic. We, human as, logic we, tells us it's we, not possible. We as humans, right, have no right to define what the universe has defined for okay. us. Because we're nowhere near the size of the universe. Okay. So how can we say, oh, humans, this is our way. So listen to us, but we've never been to Mars, we've never been to Jupiter. There's different places of the um, galaxies that we've never even seen, can't comprehend. But we're now going to come and say, oh, listen to us, because human logic makes sense. It's arrogant. So this human it's logic good to use human logic to get by in But life this human logic... We're on Earth, but you are we going to use the human logic? Human logic is all are we going to use this human logic? Sense. According to human logic, nothing which has no existence of its own which has no energy particles, quanta or fluctuations, it cannot make something, according to human logic. According to human logic. Economic. And you said according to human logic, let's go by human logic. We according have to go by human logic. You're going by human logic now. That's why we want to have a common ground now. No, that, that's why I want to ascertain. So you accept human logic. According to human logic... Human. I think I am anyway. Very good. According to <laughs> Lloyd, according to human logic, there cannot be a time in the distant past there was absolute nothingness. Do you agree? That there cannot be a time before human logic. No, no. According to human logic, yeah. there could not be in our past, of our real, of our existence, of our reality here, mm. that there was absolute nothing at one point. No, but some people that are humans believe there was. According to human logic, I'm saying. No, I'm not talking like to people who are humans. deluded. <laughs> His human logic, his, his human logic well, the way he described it, is that anything is Tell me about logic then. The okay. human logic what is the foundation of logic? To every single person Tell me about logic. Tell me about logic. Fine. You so can't say, so no, we have come to no, a point, wrong. Like, Lloyd, you can't do that. the crux of our understanding, the discussion is about logic. What is logic to you? No, I said human logic. Sure. What not is not human logic. logic to you? What's human logic to me? What works for me? What makes sense? No, what does it mean, logic? What does the word logic conceptually mean? Uh, a logical sweet sequence, something that's in order that seems to provide a result that you're looking for. So you, you go step by step and you come with the answer and you're able to predict the answer based on the logical steps you've used. So that's human logic. Fine. But there might Do you be accept more that? logics that Do you we're accept not at least that? ready for. Do you accept that at least? This is the logic. Based on my perspective, but you would have to ask every single person no, no, no. There what, what their logic is. And I'm pretty sure it won't be the same. So you're saying, according to human logic, someone might say, you know what? You know, I exist, and someone might say that I don't exist, and 
logically speaking. Is that what Precisely. you're saying? Precisely. Because no. there's too many humans on the planet. So no. how the hell are we going to then open then the perhaps thing? then perhaps <laughs> perhaps you need to we need to rediscuss what logic is and we discuss what human is. Because human logic is not something like that. You come with a set of principles that everyone's going to disagree with. But because when we have logical structure to something, language that we speak, so far you, you've been speaking in English language with a particular logical structure to that language. You're using English grammar. You're using English grammar. You're not, speak, you're not using English Arabic grammar, for example. To, please. You're not using the grammatical principles in that language you're speaking in English from say Hindi or Arabic. You're not. You're using English, English grammar right. in which it tells you that I am, not I is. Using those principles. So the fact that you're talking about human logic, human beings have decided what are the logic and the parameters of logic, what is acceptable, what is not. Yeah. You're saying there is no agreement. But that's why you're wrong, my friend. I have to tell you bluntly, we, but we have agreed, we have agreed. What, if you study logic in any school, university, college, any courses, they will tell you there are logical structures of our organization of our arguments. On hang on, on. How this follows. So for example, if you have this, 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 you have premise, premise, conclusion, and so on. It's not conclusion and then premise, premise. There is a logical structure to it, and they all agree. If we are going to be logical, we're going to take that approach. You, for, for some reason, don't even know that there is an agreement. But I do, because I'm using human logic. He's, cor he's correct, though, because... How like, is he correct? Like, let's say we wanted to bake a cake. Mm -hmm. What is the order of things that, that we need to do in order to bake a cake? You can use several different tools to bake a cake. You can order things differently inside the pan, and both methods, if you're doing two different methods, may result in a cake. But it's the, the logic, is the, the path is different, and I'm, I'm making that as a metaphor, so, so logic. Um, but they both result in the same thing. So that's what he's saying. He's saying, like, for example, if we both wanted to make a cake, him and I, we might both take it in different approaches. But, but his approach this, is, but if, you take, if, if you take this yeah. approach, there will be no result. But how do you know there will be no result? His approach is there will be no result. But, but how? <coughs> one thing that I kind of want That's to what you're saying. Is, Someone will disagree. Someone will say, Yes, I exist and I don't exist. But it doesn't matter if they disagree. That's, they, they, Do you accept? They're allowed to disagree. Okay. Because let's they're settle humans. this. Let's settle this properly. Do you accept the principle of non-contradiction? Of non-contradiction. What is the principle? Yeah, explain that. Like. You talk about human logic. Let's delve with it a bit further. If you don't know, I can explain to you. When we say about principle of non-contradiction, we are saying two things which are mutually exclusive cannot be true at the same time. I mean, how would we even know? Because again, we're only bound by human logic. Human logic is what the logicians agreed to. There is something called the principle of non-contradiction. Yeah, but human and logic yet, doesn't define the universe. No, so we can only I, assume. I, I'm talking about the principle of non-contradiction. Based on human logic. Again, we still if you back to If you go logic. and based on human logic, they've agreed to that principle. And you're saying, no, they haven't. No, I haven't said that. I said, if, or they, if they've... I'm saying that the most important people in the world who have decided to agree with it have obviously published it and it's now become a study. So whoever wants to study it can now agree with it. Whoever doesn't want to study can study let me give else. you. There will still be different... Let me give you an example. Can there be a triangular square in anywhere in our cosmos? But I haven't been to the cosmos. According to you, <laughs> according to you... Rules. No, 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 no. According to you... The hang on. According to you, it's possible, right? I haven't been there. I don't, can I don't there know be a possibly. can there be a married bachelor in our planet Earth? A married bachelor. But that's human logic again. Yes, so according if to human we're logic. Go back to Earth and talk about according Earth, to human logic. Things, I'm happy to do it, and we might agree. Lloyd, if we're talking about the universe. According to according to human logic, can there be a married bachelor? Say again. Can we have a married bachelor? According to human logic, no. Why not? Because human logic says no. No, no. I, I explain to me why not. Because based on human logic, based no, on no. someone who did the study, they the, said, you know, consider a bachelor. <laughs> okay. Oh, so if you exist, you don't not, not exist. Based on human logic. So based on human logic, if you exist, you don't not not exist. 
Yeah. But if well, the opposite is but if you take a journey rejected. outside the spectrum of being human, which you can't do because you're human and all you're gonna know is human, you are racist to human, you were taught to be So you human. could there could be a married bachelor then. And everything you've been every knowledge that you have was uh, got from you then. humans. So if so, we don't use human you can have a married bachelor. Is that if what you're saying? If you don't use human logic, then you can think to yourself, okay, then so there can be a married more bachelor. than us. So there can be a married bachelor if you don't use human logic? I wouldn't know that, but yeah, maybe you need can, to ask some... Look, look, first, married and bachelor are two concepts which human beings created. Mm -hmm. what, this, what about married or bachelor translates into the physical world? Because if there was no language, if there was no English, no Portuguese, no Spanish... Concepts, concepts. Exactly. You can forget language, yeah, yeah, yeah. just concept. But yeah, but you, 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 you're considering too much of the definitions. Concepts. Conceptually, two things which are contradictory, mutually exclusive, you're saying it's... Yeah, because from that perspective, neither bachelor nor married exist. Because there's no physical thing that makes something married or makes something bachelor. So you could be, for example, in absolute sense of reality, someone who exists. I don't know about that. that that's not my, well, my okay. what is reality? So, human reality, based on your experiences, based yeah, on being a yeah. human. But you can only talk based on... But you may not experience. exist. Yeah. You can't but talk you may not based exist. on every single thing that exists in the universe. Yeah. Because so, you can't do that, so it's you possible. Have no right to say human so when logic you, when you, is right. When you're getting married to someone, when you're getting married to someone, it's possible that she doesn't exist at the same time when she's existing, right? Not based on human logic. So <laughs> when you when you are saying when she when you when when she says to you I love you for example, actually she may not have said that at the same time. It could be something that you're imagining. But it depends what lens you choose to use and because I'm a human I'm gonna use When it comes to look when it comes to reality which, what is reality? which food do you eat? Which clothes do you wear? Which job that you're going to go for? You seem to have left all of this and say, you know what? I go by that approach. But when it comes to talking about God, creator, talking about afterlife, because that's the consequences of our discussion, you are radically skeptic because you know that if you don't apply what you apply in your everyday mundane life, you're going to have a problem. So. The real, consistency, the real consistency is of the one who is sincerely apply his life and apply those principles throughout every single investigation and queries. And how do you know this? Do you, do, you, do you go and live your life and apply the same sort of standards when it comes to religion, when it comes to God, when it comes to the Creator? Of course. Yeah. And why would I, why, okay. why would I so, do so, so is it possible? that it is possible in the distant past there could be absolute nothing and then we came into existence based on human logic because based on human like human I said, we, you don't know everything i don't know everything so we cannot now start making grounds of human is the center of information fine got you my friend so basically what you're saying is like this if i have no money no friends no bank thinking thinking listen listen Imagine I have no friends, I have no banks, no money-making machines, nothing to money. But according to you, I can give you millions of pounds. You believe that? But everything you've just said was created by man, wasn't Wait, created by God. Lloyd, <laughs> listen, listen. Everything, every word Lloyd, you just said, listen. the strike of the sentence, Lloyd, was not created listen, by... Listen, it was, it was think, created think, by, think. It was, you were taught to say... So, imagine I borrowed 1,000 pounds from you. And that then, no, no, no. <laughs> imagine, don't you have 1,000 pounds? Is that how broke you are? But 1,000 pounds. Do you have? Man do you have that amount of money? About God, so you've no, no, please. Your, your whole argument went I am, I am going to establish down. something, <laughs> Lloyd. Let's assume, let's assume you have 1,000 pounds, and you're not that broke, right? You gave me that money. I borrowed from you. Okay, I borrowed from you. And then I'm telling you, I can't give that money to you because I don't have it. I can't work for it, I have no friends, I have no bank, I have no money making machines, but you still think I can just pull it from thin air, I can give it to you. Is that what you think? If I say I have no money, you still believe I have money. But why would I Someone think? did that in the first place, didn't they? But you can go the money, money that he gave me actually spent it, right? But yeah. you can you saw, money. you saw it, you saw it, you saw it. But he believes the money that he lent me, I can give it back to him, somehow I still have it. But you can't use, would the, you? use the word belief. I am saying, I am saying, I am saying, he, my friend Lloyd here, in a situation like this, he would want his money back. 
He would not say... But you're making up a situation. I'm not making up a situation. I am saying if, when the reality one. hits, when the reality hits, you will become real. You no longer live. You you no longer live in this bubble that you're living at the moment. But it's your reality that you create in your head, and you want me to be a part of that okay. reality. Do you eat cement? Make sense do you eat? You don't owe me a thousand pounds. Do you do, do you do you eat soil? You all of a sudden decided that I owe you a thousand pounds, and you think that's reality? Do you? It's not reality. That's limitation based on you being human. Do you eat yeah, soil? I don't understand examples. We're talking about the universe. Okay. Do you eat it's bricks? There's still limits that you can't, you can't Lloyd, break through Lloyd. because you, can only go, you can't comprehend more than what you already do you, know. Do you eat stones for your breakfast? <laughs> stones. Stones? Yeah. No. You do. <laughs> yeah? According to human logic, according to human logic, people can eat stones, right? No, according to human logic, you don't eat stones. I don't understand that. <laughs> according to, you see, you have sort of human logic in which That's, you want no. everyone to have disagreements, agreements and disagreements. You're missing the whole point. Either human so, logic... Wait, no human on this planet doesn't have stones. Oh, I see. Are you saying that? So, so you're saying... No, no, no. According I'm to human logic, I people can... reflection because you have the claim. So are you saying all humans on this planet don't eat stones? Who Is does? What you're saying? Who does? So you're saying you don't know? I, no, so if you I'm don't asking know, you, who does? you can't make that statement. No, who does? But According to you, do you know, some people do, yeah? But how do you know? Have you met every single person yes. on this oh, planet? Oh, yes. You've met you every have. single person on this planet? Because you haven't, I'm there are people out there who don't. <laughs> he knows everything. You know what, brother? You because you haven't seen them, there are people who eat stones. Yes. You don't know this. Exactly, isn't it? Because we don't know, there are people who eat arsenic. There's so much about the planet yeah. that we don't even know. Exactly. So for you to now exactly, my friend. every human don't eat stones. Yeah shows that you're still going based on your limitations. What you've been taught is what you're limited to, and that's why you're failing. Because if you can go past the things that you haven't okay. been taught, then you can understand that I could actually be completely wrong about what you've just said. But there are certain species who eat stones. Hmm? Certain? Species. I'm talking about human beings. Uh, yeah, but you're human beings. Human beings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, according to you, human beings, <laughs> might be human beings on planet Earth species. who eat arsenic which is a poison according to him because i haven't seen them they must do it's possible very until you met everyone and asked everyone yeah 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 you haven't so, met everyone you haven't been because you haven't met everyone right? you there might be people this? out there who have this wings is, too this right is ignorance at its finest, because you How need to be that everywhere there is yeah look look listen Ignorance this is this is being very consistent <laughs> because you haven't met every human being on planet earth there might be a human being who's got wings and flies yes how do we know how that do we, you that know there yeah so you according to you i would guess been. no but, 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 you've only been but they could be <laughs> yeah exactly you've only been that's 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 exactly exactly to exactly. the remote places of the world yeah 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 how do you know exactly don't make assumptions if you've got no proof. precisely so according to you yeah. because you haven't seen yeah. everything everything is possible no you haven't seen but you're making Assumption that every human being in Hyde Park have has you? the same thing. Have you? There could be someone right here, right now, that eats stones, but they're not going to tell you because you've, you've yeah. saved them. Do you know what happens when you eat stones? Do you know what happens? Yeah, I do. Do you know? Yeah. To me and you, because we seem quite similar, we probably have the same results. So would but there be not, human but, beings but, or superhuman? But there's different... Don't eat stones. So there are superhumans. No, I'm asking you. No, because... If they eat stones and they survive, and they get the nutrients from the stones, Human or superhuman? But how am I supposed to know? I haven't met every human. You said you have. So no, I you. haven't. <laughs> you said you met every single human. When did I say that? Are you even listening? But you said that if you eat stone, I know what's going to happen. Then you get the same result. Or we all get the same result. And what you're you saying? Know? You haven't met every single human. So you're saying basically we can have people who eat, for example, all the poisons that we know of. Acids and everything. All the poisons that we know of already, you've just that's limitations because that means there might be more. How do you know there isn't more? Think, think about it from this perspective. Yeah. So there could be human beings when they drop themselves from tall skyscrapers, nothing will happen to them, right? I mean, you said that. I, no, no, I, I'm asking you. Is it possible in your belief system that there may system. be human you beings who, <laughs> when they drop themselves off from 100 
Story building, nothing will happen to them. But if they have wings, why would they fall on the floor? But you haven't met every single person, so you don't no. know if they have wings or so, not. So even if you don't, <laughs> if, even if they didn't have wings, but how do you according know? to how many people have you met in your life? So there you, are people out there who have wings. Hundreds. Okay, fine. Like, so there are people who out there who have wings, and they would not fall. Suppose they didn't have wings, and if they fall, according to you, they will still not be harmed, right? But you're saying according to me as if I know everything. I don't know everything and I'm not afraid to, to So let to me let me that. let me but tell you you're something. Saying you do. So let me, I'm challenging you. Let me you can't say let me, all these let me if assert, you haven't met every single person. Let me assert something. You haven't been to Mars, you haven't been Let to me Jupiter. assert something. You don't you haven't even, you don't even know how many galaxies are there. So how are you supposed to know all these things? So because according to you because of human logic this egotistical perspective. Egotistical. Like, yes, because we can't, because I use you the only ones in the something universe. that is <laughs> factual, Based common on sense. Human logic. So Again, what am I going to use? Falls back to that. What logic am I going to use? Well, you can't use bird logic because you're not a bird. So, so why are you faulting me for it then? I'm not faulting you. So I'm don't bring it again. You're, you're using human logic because no. I can only use human logic. But if you're using a hammer, I'm going to tell you you're using a hammer. Right now you're using human logic. I'm, you're using human logic. I'm just letting you know. But you cannot assume that that's the universe. Yeah. So you're saying it is possible out there. There's a human being. If you put them into a machine that crushes even iron, even diamonds, more stronger than human beings, but according to my friend Lloyd here, the people out there, it's possible, nothing will happen to them. Anything they'll just possible. come out, they will break those machines and they'll come out unscathed, yeah? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Because if it happens now, what are you gonna say? You're gonna, you're gonna swallow your words. You're only going Is it possible you tomorrow you grow wings, yeah? Is it possible well, tomorrow? How do you know it's not gonna happen? <laughs> how do you know? Human logic again. Human, Human logic, logic right? Based on your limitation, because you haven't experienced it, you're gonna use what you've experienced. So you've in fact, brother, in fact, it is possible <laughs> yeah. Lloyd actually right. doesn't have any brains in the skull and is still thinking. It's but possible. That's just, but that's it's possible. That's not what to do. Yeah, is it possible yeah, according yeah. to him? That's may, I, may I ask that question? May I ask? It sounds it. shocking <laughs> to many, but may I ask? Is it possible? You make up stuff anytime wait, 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 you Lloyd. Lloyd. When did we? When did Lloyd. 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 I wasn't there. Please, please. Based on reality, I owed you one thousand. Is it possible? Is it possible in your understanding, in your human logic, it's possible it's our human logic to in our is. in our human logic, is it possible, Lloyd, that inside your skull there could be no brains and you can still think, right? I don't know. Why would, it's I possible? Make, why would I make such a claim like that? But is it possible? You know everything. You know everything. Is it possible? No, I should ask you, is it possible? Because uh, no, you've, it's not. you've met every single human being on the planet. I haven't met, but you've I can been say it's not possible. To Mars, you've been to all galaxies. No, I haven't been there, you've but I can be pretty certain. Years. You know, I'm telling the, you, you, need, you know, I haven't been there. Of the whole universe, so we should all listen to you. Everyone no, listen to Lloyd, him. can you just one time, listen to him one small confirm, one small confirm. It's possible in your reasoning, there's a minute chance that inside your skull there is no brains and you can still think. But you've made up that concept. I'm asking you. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. Is it possible? Anything's possible. Did you hear that? Subhanallah. It's possible. Anything's possible. So that is what we say when people really are not in a real bubble of reality. This is what happens to the perspective of life. But that's that what I should be can, saying to you. Look, because, if you use... Because you're using your experience and everyone else's experience based on being human on your logic. But we're human. So... You, unless, How do you think unless, we're all human? Unless, 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 <laughs> wait, How can wait, you we're all human? Wait, but unless you're telling me... That, this can be this can be someone who's an alien wait, from no, another planet. Unless you're telling me we're the only humans in this universe, you can't make this claim. Is it possible your that you're not speaking to us? Dead. Huh? Is it possible you're not speaking to us? But before I answer this question, are we the no, only humans? Is it possible you're not speaking to Are we the only to humans in this universe? Are you speaking to are me? Are we the only humans? Are you speaking are to me? Are we the only humans in this universe? Are you speaking to me? Carter. I'm asking you. This whole experience brain that with oh, look, sensors look. kind of. Yeah. How, uh, humans. Uh, I'm asking you. I want to take in this the conversation. Universe. It's direct. ridiculous. Has anyone been to the moon here? And the moon is just there. Right. Has anyone been there? No. Why are you arrogant enough to think you're a human? That we know everything. <laughs> Why are you so arrogant enough to think you're a human? Have you been to no, no. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Say it again. No. Why are you arrogant enough to think you're a human? I don't know I'm a human. 
So why do you call yourself human? I'm a, I assume I'm a human. I assume. <laughs> but who taught me I was a human? I went to school. They said you're a human. This is your heart. This is your lungs. Blah, blah, blah. We all went to school, right? So they told you. So we believed so it. So before you went right? to school, because because you think you were it's human? possible he has no because heart, you you no lungs, no kidneys. I was a human before going to school. How did you know if you can't speak? Well, you, 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 you had a dummy in your mouth. So you knew you was a human and you had a dummy in your mouth. So you you went to, when you went to school, you nah, thought you were a dog and then they convinced you were a human? Well, you didn't even know what a dog was. So how can you know say you're like, a dog? All of these things are common. That's my question. Like, what what yeah. a physical human body yeah. actually is. is can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is it possible to have organized information? Like that, example, a literature. Do you have a book in your hand? Can I borrow that book, whatever that is? Whatever that is. Whatever that is. is look, look, look. It's got lots of text. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Is it possible it is? without <laughs> intelligence, intelligence agency, which has intelligence, that all the information content can come by just mere chance. But what is intelligence? According I'm asking this gentleman a question. So. I think so. It's possible, yeah? So you're saying information content like this, structured sentences and phrases, whole chapters, it's possible that they can be gathered together by humans and make sense without any intelligent agency. If you have letters of the alphabet, A to Z, and you just Mix it in a big warehouse, blow some air, and then shh, open the door, and guess, guess what? All the letters align together and produce a chapter like that. If you run enough times a randomized version of that, eventually you get it. But it might be why should never go to space? <laughs> You've never been to the moon. By chance, be nowhere. it is possible. So by chance, by chance. you have never seen anything happening ever in your life? See, have you ever seen anything happen? Have you ever seen now? Let's do it. Let's now. Let's, let's now. Let's now. Really realistic. Have we ever seen? Yeah. So, so this is where. Have you ever? No, have, what's your name? Felipe. Felipe. Have you ever observed information of this nature gathered together? Ever? Have, you have ever anyone? Has anyone? No, has anyone observed? Have you ever observed human experience? But, but, but this is so. Do you understand what we call? Inductive logic and deductive logic. That, but that's but the problem. Is, but it's man made. No, that's not the so problem. That that's is the problem. problem. It's human made. Look, look, look. So you, you, it's, it's a problem regardless because uh, it's made by humans. Is the, the sun cosmos. going to be up there tomorrow? Do but we you've have. You've never been to Mars, so why are you talking about the sun? Do you think okay, the sun will be raised? Philippe, like Philippe, go ahead. Do you work for NASA? Have you been any? Have you left this planet? Philippe, go ahead. I'm listening to you. Yeah, uh, let him finish. No, I'm. No, no. I am listening to you. So, okay. But go he ahead. hasn't. He hasn't left so anywhere, he and he's saying, dictating like knowledge. As he, what he was saying is that the universe is so big that because it's so big, there is a possibility that somewhere, so, like how do you know so big? Huh? How do you know so big? Well, we've observed it. Huh? Why are you trusting your observation? Because your observation is limited. So you say there's no you. Oh, correct. Correct. so yeah. you agree with so us? So don't. Why are you assuming it's so big? So, so this is where I want to take the conversation. Why are you agreeing the with your observation? Your observation. Wait, wait, wait. He said our observation is limited. He just agreed. Here with are us. people. Why is our observation yeah. limited? Can we because we're take humans. some point from there? <laughs> you're saying <laughs> you you trust you trust your observation and your experience. Is that what you're telling me? Are yeah. You're saying, saying there's so, no universe. I'm saying. According to you, well, there is no universe. To the moon. <laughs> yeah. So why should we listen I'm to you? saying what you if? don't exist. What if? What if? Okay, fair enough. What if? Am so I right? What am if? I right or am I wrong? Who cares? Oh, you haven't been to the moon, so I don't need no, to no, listen no, no, to no, you. No, 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 no. Lloyd and Philippa, listen, listen you, you both you just human, don't like exist. <laughs> you both don't exist. My experience tells me otherwise, and it's been consistent. So your experience can really tell you something which you take for fact. Contradiction. But is that right? Can, can't be that's correct. a contradiction, can't right? Be right. So, Philippa, you're different from my friend no, Lloyd here. Contradiction. You are going to take something for fact. <laughs> well, you just are right? condescending his experience, but when it's is that what you're saying? Your so you're saying? If your experience right. tells you <laughs> that you think, and you said, therefore I am, that I exist, and it's a fact for you. Is that what you think? I don't know if I agree with that statement, but if my feel, experience... Feel. Do you exist? If my, I feel like I exist. But are, I you sure? actually, no. are you sure? No. I'm are you sure? Are you sure? So you're not sure you're existing? No, correct. Yeah. Do you exist? Are you sure you exist? And, and also... Existence. Don't get... Because you 
exist, you're not sure. So let me kind of but speak to you. Exist? <laughs> so because it's possible, yeah, how do you know you it's exist? possible he doesn't exactly. exist. Do you exist? So if I just ignore him, right, right back he down, shouldn't yeah. feel offended because anyone that doesn't exist should not be offended. So do you Royce. exist? Um, no. No. Uh, so why are you speaking to argument me? Argument over. So, <laughs> so because I don't exist to him, because so I don't what? exist, he, he should shouldn't be know. offended too. <laughs> There's a probability in your understanding you that I don't exist. I've not realised. So now, messed up his debate. So here again, Lloyd Terribly. and Philippa, of course, don't exist in reality because they weren't sure. And now but I've made it exist? certain. Now I've made it certain that they don't exist. But do you? They exist? are certain that they don't exist. Be careful. Yeah. Who said that? Anyway, I said I think they exist. No, you don't exist. Do you exist? Absolutely. Do you exist? Um, I don't. He According said, um, to you, I don't. He said, so um, now, here are the... He said, um... Do you exist? When it comes to reality... You won't answer. I've noticed. That's when it comes to... Strategy. When it don't comes to... Questions. When it comes... I don't exist, my friend. Why are you talking Very to me? Clever. When it Very comes clever. to... When it comes to reality... About God and God's existence about being good, being moral, about believing in heaven and hell. This is the super hyper radical stance people take because they don't want to subscribe to an organized religion. They don't want to worship God and so on. But at the same time, look at what he's wearing. Nice clothes, expensive clothes, nice huh? expensive. He perhaps, That's nice. when he goes for looking for a woman or go or wife no, uh, because why is it talking say this <laughs> so he would not when, mind because to them it is a not for your video because I'm the bit that we said no no i'm not going to cut off anything to no about. one's going to cut off it is a whole channel don't cut off put it for entertainment for people to see what happens to people who leave the reality bubble and going to live in another bubble so so when he's going to place or university you know what they're going to go to thinking, you know what? My teacher don't exist. So why am I going to even bother listening to him? I'll sit there in an auditorium and a lecture gallery which doesn't even exist. Why am I going to write an exam which is not even an exam, it doesn't exist? So, but he knows if he, do, if he doesn't do that, he's going to fail the exam. He knows if he doesn't go at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock to his work, he's not going to get paid. He will work like a slave in that machinery thinking he exists. But, but, but when it comes to... That's never been, been left on this planet. Why is he feeling offended? He doesn't exist. <laughs> he's never been nowhere. I don't even think he's left South um, So, but because... So, I would just, how can you confirm How can I speak to someone who doesn't exist? Truth? Like, so, so you're basically saying humans so, are the only one in this universe. Everything we say is correct. Do you know something? You're saying is our love. I know, I know he doesn't exist, but I don't know why they're no, speaking to me. <laughs> so, so, because, because that's the treatment that we give. We don't talk to people who are non-existent, right? And they, but you spoke to me just now, so that means you're going mad. No, 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 because you was. So oh, people are looking at you going mad. Like, like, so you must be going nuts. So is he certain he exists now? But you spoke to me. I'm speaking to the ladies there. Oh, do they exist? Do you think he's certain he exists now? Because wait, I, wait yeah, do we exist? Do they, do yeah. they exist? Do you think we exist? Of course I do. Why, why do you think we exist? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why do you think because exist? our reality bubble is such that reality. our experience and observations, we trust them. Our experience, so, observations. So when we have our senses that we have, our eyes, our ears, our sense perception, our feeling of touch and smell, 